a moderate increase in our tax collection, in our uh, tax system, improve our tax collection, uh, minimize graft and corruption in order to be able to save, to provide the wherewithal to buy the spare parts of the military. Yeah. Titles and positions do not mean that much to me anymore. What is really important is to be of genuine service to our people with or without any position in government. In our history as a nation, our best years were when we took our destiny in our own hands and faced the uncertain future with boldness and hope and faith. Those were the times when Filipinos experienced a sense of national renewal and self-respect. The revolution of 1896, the battle for the liberation of the Philippines from 1942 to 1945, the struggle for freedom during the darkest years of martial law and dictatorship, culminating in the mountain peak experience of EDSA in February 1986. How can we ever, ever forget these high moments in the life of this nation? September 16, 1991. May well be the day when we in this Senate found the soul, the true spirit of this nation, because we muster the courage and the will to declare the end of foreign military presence in the Philippines and help pave the way to lasting peace year and in the world. Blessed are the peacemakers. Our Lord said in his deathless sermon on the mount, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Therefore, I vote no to this treaty, and if it were only possible, I would vote 203 million times no. I also vote a resounding yes to the resolution of non-concurrence. Salamat po at mabuhay ang bansang Pilipino. Thank you, Mr. President.